okay guys in this project we're gonna be build, building this uh, simple HTML and CSS page now the background is a dark gray and th there's no JavaScript or any other, other languages it's just simple HTML and CSS so and this is a random image so as you can as if I refresh this page so you can see this page is uh, automatically changing so as I do it again you can see it it changed again okay so we're gonna be building this project and let's get started okay so I'm gonna uh, create a folder here let me call this random image 2 okay and I'm using VS code okay, I'm gonna open my folder I'm using live server it's an extension in, in built in VS code so if you're using VS code you can use that you'll just have to install it so create my style.css okay so I'm gonna give my boilerplate I'm using emit that is why it's working like this okay in VS code emit is inbuilt so you can use that if you don't know okay I'm gonna save this okay now I'm gonna open this with live server okay so I need my headings okay so I'm gonna give a container of div with a container okay and in this I'm gonna give another container okay I'm gonna give an h1 images are changing automatically as I refresh the page okay let me just copy this I'm gonna view and toggle word wrap so that you can you, you guys can see easily okay save it and okay it's very ugly and I need a div with a paragraph Sorry. Wait. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna give my p tag and lorem. I think so. That it is. I think so. It's fifty. Let's do fifty. Yeah, fifty is good. I think so. It's fifty. Yeah, that's okay. Now it's a horizontal line, so I'm gonna give a HR, which means a horizontal line, and after that I need my Unsplash. So there's a there's a one website called Unsplash. So I'm gonna go to source dot unsplash dot com and tag source paste and in my alternative I'm gonna give random images okay save check and yeah it's working and I'm gonna give 300 into 300 
so that the image will be not big as this so yeah it's good now so now let's give a css so the background color is the text color of the heading is orange red and the background is dark gray and the paragraph text is white so i'm gonna grab my elements here and let's let's first give me let, let's just give the background first okay so you know what i'm gonna grab a font family okay font google okay actually it's google fonts okay there it is eh, here it is okay plus select what happened okay i'm gonna give a title of random images Family should be Ubuntu save no nope. didn't work why it's that I think so it should be a capital U but it doesn't matter Sorry, let me save this first. Okay, why is this not working? Oh, I didn't link my style here. The background color of F4, 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 which is a light gray. Text align in the center. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in my not in a container in my main heading icon. So uh, nope, not in this container. Wait. Okay. The paragraph and the tag is same. So you know what? I'm gonna wrap a div. So para heading. Okay. Cut and paste. Save. And now in my CSS I can easily say para The background color should be let me just say background color should be dark gray yeah good so now I need my heading to be orange red so main heading okay The color should be sorry. Orange red, save it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'm I'm gonna give a font weight. Font weight of bold. Okay, now 
I need my paragraph to be white so paragraph uh, so my okay paragraph get an idea of paragraph okay the color should be okay good great so I think it's done and yeah that's it guys and now this is a fully fun I have just made this a very short project so that you can easily know what uh, which site from you can do this uh, the, the random images site so it will be easy for you now to see and check that so as I refresh again you can see the images are changing and that's it guys and I will see you in my next project